Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. Um, in this video we will be uh, talking about Perry Johnson and how he has just been disqualified. A lot of people are saying unfairly from the Republican debate which is being held tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. But before we get into anything I do want to um, say you know something about um, my video scheduling. I, as many of you know, I have been on vacation for a while. I haven't uploaded in like 10 or 11 days or something, or maybe 12. Um, and I'm actually still on vacation, but I do have my laptop. I don't know why I haven't been making videos. I just realized that I could right now since I do have Wi-Fi. But, um, and uh, I do get back uh, home in Connecticut today. So we will be moving on to a more normal schedule moving forward. But that being said, let's move on to this video. So Perry Johnson is a businessman from Michigan who has um, really become um, a sensation on social media. I mean, I shouldn't say a sensation. Still, the vast majority of Americans do not know who this guy is. But he has been, he has um, become a, you know, kind of like a, funny, not a joke candidate, but um, definitely one that makes people laugh. A lot of people pretend to really like him. You know, someone that, uh, that you know, liberals will say, oh, you know, let's get Perry on the debate stage. Let's donate a dollar to Perry Johnson. But this uh, businessman from Michigan, this presidential candidate, also known as the quality guru, um, somehow did make it onto the debate stage, or that is what it, it appeared like. Uh, he did reach 40,000 individual donors by doing the gift cards. You know, he did um, donate a dollar. I'll send you a $10 gift card. Um, that got him to 40,000 donors. And amazingly, in, uh, in you know, a whirlwind 24 hours, um, a few days ago, uh, two days ago, it appeared that Perry Johnson somehow, again, in 24 hours, met all the polling requirements. He got, it appeared that he got 1% in two national polls and 1% in two state polls. And um, Politico had put him, and NBC News, everyone had said that it looked like Perry Johnson had qualified for the debate somehow. He was on the yes, on the Politico um, tracker. Um, but recent changes and, you know, a lot of people are saying, as I said, a lot of people saying that this is very unfair, but the RNC who hosts the debate is now saying that Perry Johnson has actually not qualified for this debate and that he is still one poll short. And this comes after you can now not qualify for the debate. So they are saying that Perry is done, that he cannot qualify for this debate no matter what. And this is just coming out today, and it's really big news, and it's getting a lot of attention on social media. But um, as I said, I mean, this is making headlines. Perry Johnson, you know, because once he was qualified, then people started to uh, find out who Perry, whoops, who Perry Johnson was, and then they're like, you know, who is this guy who qualified for the debate? I mean, this is kind of crazy. This unknown guy, Perry Johnson, is in this debate. So we got a lot of attention from that, and that's causing lots of people to be upset because, um, you know, you, of course, people do want outsiders on that debate stage, and Perry Johnson not being on that stage, you know, will be will be a blow to a lot of people who found out about him two days ago when he qualified, and um, it's going to be disappointing to a lot of people. Um, but, um, wait, let's see. But, uh, yeah, anyway, um, Perry Johnson is, as I said, getting a lot of attention. Look, people are trying to get Let Perry Debate trending on, this is on Twitter, Let Perry Debate. Let's see how far back this goes. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so there's a lot of Perry fans out there, and a lot of people are upset about this. And Perry Johnson put out this memo today. Perry Johnson blasts RNC for corrupt and rigged debate process, um, and he really gives a timeline of this whole situation. But what's really shocking, and I've posted about how... Um, how when this, you know, was first revealed last night that Perry won't be in the debate, um, it, 
Everyone assumed it was because of the Trafalgar polls, because Trafalgar, especially after 2022, um, has been seen as this untrustworthy um, polling organization. And if we look on this tracker, um, it was, um, look at that, all three of Perry Johnson's qualifying polls now were from Trafalgar, a national in uh, New Hampshire and in Iowa. But what's real, and those still come, but what's really shocking now is that they actually rejected first the Victory Insights poll, which was his fourth poll before that qualified him. Now they have said that Victory Insights does not count, even though, you know, Perry lists how um, it did meet the threshold. And that is why people are so upset. This is why Perry Johnson is like, you know what, because they, because the RNC gave um, three requirements for a poll to count. 800 respondents balanced um, by region and, um, you know, it was consistent with other national polls and it wasn't affiliated with any campaign. And that was true for Victory Insights. But now they are suddenly saying that it wasn't a national poll and that, you know, regions weren't, um, weren't counted for. And Perry has proven, the Johnson campaign has proven that that's actually not true. So um, that will be very interesting to see where that goes. But the RNC is now not counting Victory Insights poll. Politico has taken it off. And Perry Johnson now does not have that poll. And apparently, Perry Johnson is actually, um, according to this uh, to this timeline here that Perry Johnson provides, um, he's saying that he polled in a he polled one percent in a Newsmax slash McLaughlin poll um, that would count. I don't remember seeing that, but he's saying that they rejected that too. Um, yeah, explaining that the McLaughlin poll would not be counted either and that he was not in the debate text. I guess they didn't even provide a reason for that one. Um, um, so, I mean, this is definitely something to watch. And Perry Johnson has actually said that he will be in Milwaukee and that, you know, he will put up a fight and that he is still trying to get on this stage. So, I mean... Uh, you know, it's crazy. It's definitely an unfair system how it's looking right now. I don't really think they expected Paige Johnson to get on, but I mean, look, they allowed Asa Hutchinson to get on, you know, no problem, no opposition to any of his stuff. But Perry Johnson, who, you know, has, you know, whatever. A lot of, a lot of people are upset about this, but... Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I will make a few more videos, you know, before this presidential debate. But anyway, I hope to see you all next time. Thanks again.